Sanders is pushing back today. He says he's built a grassroots campaign in New Hampshire and across the country that can help him win a turnout election against President Trump in November. WBZ's Christina Hager is with the Bernie Sanders campaign in Durham, New Hampshire, and she's live right now. Christina? Well, Liam, it is a long line of people here heading in to the Whittemore Center Arena here at UNH. You know, Bernie Sanders is known for drawing big crowds as he has all day in New Hampshire. It's a colorful scene gathered here at UNH to get a glimpse of the man who's leading the polls in New Hampshire. And who spent today hammering the point that he represents the middle class. My friend Mr. Buttigieg and my friend Joe Biden, they have dozens and dozens of billionaires contributing to their campaign. Before a loud crowd of supporters gathered behind his Hudson, New Hampshire field office, Bernie Sanders doubled down on the effectiveness of his grassroots style campaign. This is something he went back and forth about with his closest competitor here, Pete Buttigieg. Sanders accusing Buttigieg of courting millionaires. So don't tell me that contributions from billionaires don't matter. They shape the legislative agenda of what goes on in Washington. And back here at UNH, at this stop, it's not just Sanders, but also a concert by The Strokes and an appearance by Congresswoman Alexandria Octavio Cortez throwing in her support. In Durham, New Hampshire, Christina Hager, WBC News.